William Hill sponsors Joshua vs. Takam on Sky Sports Box Office. Kevin Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're at the public workout here in Cardiff. Uh, I'm joined by Frank Bullioni. Is that me, Frank? Yeah, all good. Thanks, Kevin. All good? Yeah, all good. Well, a little bit of a, a change in opponent this week. Yeah, I'll say um, so. Obviously, uh, Callum Johnson um, had chest pains. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope he's okay, first of all. Of course, that's, that's the main thing. You don't, you don't fight if you're not healthy. And, um, yeah, my heart goes out to Callum Johnson. Fingers crossed he gets himself back on track and uh, hopefully he gets back into that mandatory position and can fulfil his fight. Craig Richards comes in. Yep. Um, Eddie Hearn said to us just now that obviously he spoke to Craig Richards and Peter Sims before the uh, fight he had recently and put it to him and they were obviously bang up for it. So yeah. your initial response to Craig Richards, first of all? Yeah, we uh, we agreed we agreed upon it straight away. Um, we've, we've sparred Craig, so we know him firsthand. We know his style, um, we know his strengths, his weaknesses. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a style that suits me. Um, he's, he's similar to a Jose Burton, but not as experienced and probably not as dangerous. Obviously, uh, we also learned that, that there was a, a situation regarding Jose Burton as well. And we know we're going to get honest answers from yeah. you about, you know, when that was put to you. So yeah. if you can talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, of course. Um, well, when I first moved up to light heavyweight, Jose Burton just beat Miles Shinklin for the British title. I was the first man to call him out. I said, look, give me your voluntary. It'd be a cracking fight. Um, be good money for the pair of us. And uh, didn't, even, didn't even answer any of my responses. Gallagher then kind of started getting involved and saying, oh, you need to earn your shot, you need to do this, you need to do that. So they didn't want to know me for the voluntary. So um, I had to get myself a mandatory position, bided my time, and then went and took the belt off him. So he's going to have to do the same. I'm not going to give him my voluntary. He'll have to go and get it to mandatory position. Was that the sole reason why yeah. you didn't want yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. take that I'm fight? I'm not going to do him any favours. Yeah. Um, they, they didn't do me any favours. And Gallagher's bad-mouthed me my whole entire career, like from amateurs to pros. So I'm not going to uh, stand to attention for Gallagher, that's for sure. But, I mean, is that the sort of fight that, I mean, regardless of, I'm not saying regardless, but aside from that reason, rather, yeah. um, a week's notice for a fight that, we know we're going to probably see in the future anyway. Yeah. It's a big fight. Yeah, uh, so it probably deserves a little bit more of a build-up as well. There's certainly that. And um, it's, it's hard to negotiate with uh, Burton and Gallagher at the best of time. So in five days, it's going to be a slim chance. Was there any other names mentioned? Or was it literally, obviously, the Craig Richards thing was done, uh, um, situation was done pretty quickly? So We, um, we said straight away, um, look at Conroy. He's uh, he's English champion. Um, he's just knocked out Joel McIntyre in a good performance. So um, he'd be he'd be an ideal one. Um, yeah, he's, he's ranked pretty high. So, but do you know what we we was kind of we knew on five days notice it was going to be tough. And this is where I give Craig Craig Richards a lot of credit for stepping in. He's just a big fight, and um, he's certainly up against it. He's only just moved up to light heavy, and I know full well how long it takes to kind of build into the weight. So um, it's going to be a very very tough night for for Craig. But listen, Mark, I respect him and. Um, I wish him all the best, but it's not going to be enough against me. You believe the Callum Johnson fight will still materialise at some point again? I'm not so sure. Um, depending on how he comes through with his recovery, obviously health first and foremost. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that one goes. What's been the response on uh, your social media and people saying to you about that change of opponent for you? What's people been saying about it to you? My, my, my fans, um, they're happy to see me fight whoever. Um, it's another defence of my British title against an unbeaten fighter so they're more than happy you're always going to get people complain but what can you do I didn't I didn't pull out of the fight people complain in boxing really does that happen <laughs> this is it everyone's everyone's got an opinion and they're entitled to it if they're, if they're paying their money but what can you do you, uh, you need to go in there and fight whoever you can't make someone fight and um, you can't fight someone that's, that's not fit to fight mm. so um, yeah we've, we've got Craig Richards I think he's a credible opponent and um, I'm going to go in there and put on a good show. So the paying public are going to enjoy that fight. Well, I think this is a pretty good fight. I think he's, yeah. he's, uh, he's, a, he's another row. Let's add to the collection I've got. Not long to find out. Um, we're at the public workout here. So when did you get to Cardiff? Um, I got here this afternoon. This yeah. afternoon. Yeah. 
press conference tomorrow, Wayne. Yeah. What's your standard procedure? Fight week. This is the uh, this enjoyable part. Fun all that hard work. Put the uh, put the time in the gym. Don's beasted me on the bags, on the body bag, on the pads, um, doing the runs on the track. It's uh, he's put he's put it work in. All right, listen, not to take too much of your time. We'll uh, catch up with you tomorrow at the press conference. So uh, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. And uh, like I said, best of luck this weekend. Cool, then, top man. Thank top you. Man.